Columnist Thomas Friedman made an important statement in the New York Times about the war in Eastern Europe. It is vital that this be perceived as Putin versus the world, not Putin versus America, he wrote. I have bad news for him. The world is overwhelmingly choosing neutrality. Let's do some numbers. Most countries on the planet expressed a disapproval of the invasion, as one would expect. A number have opted for sanctions, but they're difficult to count precisely because they trigger unavoidable secondary sanctions. So let's look at who has shown actual support by providing weapons, intelligence, equipment, any form of practical help. Now we've looked at counts from various sources and there appear to be about 33 nations out of the world's 195 nations joining in in this way. Basically the United States, Europe and their allies. What that means is that only one out of six of the world's nations are participating. Many are tiny. Luxembourg, North Macedonia, Slovenia, Latvia, Estonia. These countries have total national populations smaller than ordinary individual cities in Asia. Meanwhile, the list of places choosing to stay out of the war is huge, about 162 of the world's 195 nations. This list includes the world's most populous nations, including China, India, Indonesia, and indeed most Asian nations and most African nations. Conclusion, an exact figure is hard to get, but it's clear that the vast majority of humans on planet Earth, that's eight or nine out of 10, depending on how you count them, are not getting involved. They're staying neutral and calling for a diplomatic solution. Not sure if anyone is listening. Peace.